Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Wanna highlight two free games you can get right now. One, of course, over at the Epic Game Store as they're continuing to run that, but one over at GOG as well. So we'll talk about that. And also want to highlight some great PC game deals available right now over at Games Planet. If you're looking to pick up some PlayStation titles on PC... Some good stuff there, and then some good humble bundles to round out the video as well. Alright, first of all, King of Seas is available free over on GOG. Just log into your account, and you can add it to your library for free. It's noted to be an action RPG adventure game set in a nautical pirate world. Embark on an epic adventure across the seven seas, where you'll discover lost islands and treasures, fight rival pirates and menacing monsters, and become the most legendary pirate of all time. Had a mixed reception on Steam, 478 reviews, 57% positive. And 75% uh, off over there, $624. Typical price is $25, but you can get it free right now on GOG. Remember that GOG is a DRM-free platform, so you can download your games and enjoy as a part of that. GOG does have quite a few deals running right now as a part of their winter sale as well. A lot of your typical stuff, but Witcher 3, hey, that's 80% off for $9.99 if you would prefer to have Witcher 3 on Steam. I'm sure that at some point uh, during the winter sale, it will go on sale. Well, I say some point, but you guys know all the games go on sale at the same time. So there you go. With that, that is available for free. Okay, moving on from that. Horizon Chase Turbo, available free right now on Epic Games Store. I am 100% positive this has been available at least once for free before on the Epic Game Store, so that's kind of uh, that's kind of a bummer, but I mean, you're going to be offering games every day. I'm sure there's going to be a couple of retreads there. It's a pretty cool arcade racer, uh, you know, not technically a blowaway title, but has a pretty cool art style, more of a cartoony look going on for it, and it has an overwhelmingly positive reception, 3,200 reviews, 95% of those reviews are positive. Typically goes for $19.99, but is available free on the Epic Game Store right now. Remember, as far as Epic Game Store goes, they are running their holiday sale, and I know a lot of you guys don't like buying your games on EGS, but uh, they've got a lot of great deals available uh, on top of their uh, Epic Game Store coupon, so that saves you an additional 25% on the games that are on sale. So, for example, a game like Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, it's available for $39.89 um, on both EGS and Steam, but EGS offers you that 25% off discount, so you'll actually get it for, I believe, sub-20, uh, sub-30 dollars, if my math is correct. So that's a really good deal for FF7 Remake on PC. Um, you know, it's your prerogative on whether or not the additional $10 will make it worth it to have a Steam copy, but, um, yeah, and also, there's stuff like Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix, which I am just unsure if that's ever going to be coming out on Steam. It came out a year, like, almost two years ago. It was, like, April or March of 2020, uh, 2021, I believe, and it's still not on Steam, which is wild. I mean, Neo World Done With You was on Steam, but uh, this one, for whatever reason, isn't. Yeah, drop March 30th of 2021. Really hope it hits Steam at some point, but as far as right now, not available. But um, even then, that price point is just kind of egregious, like uh, 1.5 and 2.5. It's $30, and 25% off would make it $22.50. Um, the all-in-one collection that gets you, like, everything on PlayStation is readily available for, like, $30 or $25, so... You know, take that for what you will. Gotham Knights can be had for twenty two fifty, which that is kind of ridiculous, given that that game just came out a couple months ago. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven can get a steep discount on that. So check all those out if you're interested on some deals over at EGS. All right, moving on from that, Green Man Gaming they've got some deals on PlayStation titles, some really good ones at that. Uh, God of War forty eight percent off for twenty five seventy nine. Yes, it's not God of War Ragnarok, but if you want to get into God of War twenty eighteen, it's a tremendous game, and I've actually heard some people say they like God of War 2018 more than Ragnarok. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I think 2018 had the novelty of, you know, it being God of War in this new form, and a lot of people liked it. Ragnarok, you know, is a continuation. It's a lot more of the same. Definitely add some nuances there as well. But God of War 2018 was tremendous, and for 2579, I mean, that's an excellent, excellent deal that I would strongly recommend. And PC version, absolute beauty as far as performance and visuals go. Okay, next up, Days Gone, 73% off for 1369. Kind of one of the lesser received PlayStation exclusives, but a big reason of it being lesser received was the fact that. On PlayStation 4, it had a lot of technical limitations. Well, those shackles completely come off on a nice PC. Comes off on the PlayStation 5 as well if you play Days Gone on the PS5. And it's not perfect from a technical standpoint, but it is much, much better than what it originally was. Now, even with that, Days Gone is not a perfect game. It's ha it has its issues. A lot of people think it's a little bit too lengthy, and it probably would have 
done a bit better if it was like a little bit more straight to the point. But I think ultimately this game, the reason it has like a 73 or whatever on Metacritic is because of the technical limitations for the PS4 version. Well, uh, again, that is not an issue here, at least for the most part. There's still the occasional bug and whatnot for an open world game. That's just kind of to be expected. But for the most part, it's a really, really solid uh, experience. So 1369, pretty good. We're probably never going to get a Days Gone 2, so just bear that in mind. If you do want to, you know, invest yourself into this franchise, that's just something you're going to have to accept. Marvel Spider-Man Remaster, 38% off for 37.19. One of my favorite PlayStation exclusives. I just completed this game again on PC. 100% of the game did the DLC content. Loved my time with Spider-Man Remastered. Can't wait for Spider-Man 2. You're going to have to wait a long time to play that on PC, but if you have a PS5, that'll be coming in fall 2023. Uh, but Spider-Man Remastered is a great time. Love the game. And I'm not a big Spider-Man guy. The story's pretty good. It's not like blow away, I would say. But it's pretty engaging. And there's a lot of charming moments. And if you're like a big Spider-Man fan, you'll probably have uh, and find a lot of fan service here. So 3719, you got the base game. You got the DLC. I think it's a pretty good pickup. So check that out. GMG links in the description box below. Lastly, do want to highlight a couple of Humble Bundles real quick. The Best of Stealth Bundle is live right now. That'll get you Hitman 2 Gold Edition, Hitman Game of the Year Edition, Ghost of a Tale, Echo, Heat Signature, and Stick Shards of Darkness, and Origami, excuse me. And um, remember that you get to choose how much you get uh, you want to pay uh, to the publishers, uh, charities, or Humble, or you could kick back me a couple cents if you do want as well. Just click the Adjust Donation tab there. 2K Mega Hits Sale is still live right now. I should say Mega Hits Bundle, Disgustingly Good Bundle, Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe, XCOM Ultimate Collection, Sid Mirror Civilization 6, Bio shock the collection mafia definitive edition railroad tycoon 3 um and so much more i'm not going to run down everything again but just off the rip the top three games with borderlands 3 super deluxe xcom ultimate collection civil uh, civilization 6 that already adds a great deal of value. And then there's also the Sid Meier's Ultimate Collection. $15 that'll get you Civ 6 and a ton of DLC for it. Uh, Beyond Earth the Collection. Civ 5 the Complete Edition. And a ton more content on top of that as well. Links to all of the Humble Bundles will be in the description box as well. But that'll do it for me. Again, two free games right now with King of Seas as well as Horizon Chase Turbo. Check both of those out. And alongside both of those, the respective storefronts do have some great sales going on. So check those out as well. God of War, Days Gone, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered, ton of good Humble Bundles, a lot to check out, um, you know, and there's going to be a lot more to check out over the next couple of weeks. There's going to be a lot to sink your teeth into, but that's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out